What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Product, and in this video we're going to be going over what I use to game, what I use as my daily driver in terms of keyboard, mouse, wrist rest, uh, mouse pad, all that good stuff. But I also want to ask you guys a question too. What do you use to game? Like what kind of mouse or keyboard? I'm super curious. And if you're a console gamer, yes, we love you too. Tell us what system you like. Tell us what controller you use or prefer. All that in the comment below. But before we get into that, listen, if you like the content, if you like what you're watching, if you want to understand more or you want to watch more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. We are such a small channel. It is insignificant within YouTube's algorithm. So any support, any thumbs up, any comment, anything helps. And don't worry, everything that I mentioned here that I'm using, I'll drop a link in the description below so you guys can go check out more information or if purchased it, if you guys want it. So welcome. So first, let's start off with the keyboard. Believe it or not, the current keyboard that I'm actually using is the one that I built off my previous video, which was the $50 AliExpress custom keyboard build. And if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link up here somewhere so you guys can check it out. It's a really good video. I had a lot of fun making it, so go check it out. I honestly didn't think I would love this keyboard so much, let alone replace my drop alt for it. But here we are. Uh, everything from the 60% form factor to the lube gator on yellow switches just feels right for gaming in my opinion. And I want to advocate for a smaller keyboard when gaming just because it helps out with limited mouse space. With a larger keyboard, there has been countless times where I would wipe or flick my mouse too fast and bang my mouse or finger up against my massive keyboard. And not only does that hurt, but it also affects your in-game performance. We've all played Valorant or Warzone and you know the level of concentration that is needed for those games. So any up can be the difference between life or death. And a big ass keyboard with a small ass mouse pad almost always means banging. Stop it. So yeah, this 60% custom keyboard that I built, which is honestly very reminiscent to the Any Pro 2, is my current gaming keyboard. Though, I don't even know if I should say this or not, but this is going to change within the coming months and uh, I'll just leave it at that, but also give a huge shout out to the Trash Army. Smile. Okay, so let's get into my current mouse. All right, so obviously this channel started with praising a company for their awesome keyboard, the GMMK Pro, but Glorious also makes mouses and damn good ones at that. So naturally, I'm going to be using the Glorious Model D as my current everyday mouse. And if you don't already know, this mouse is awesome. It is the most comfortable ergonomic mouse I've ever used, but also the lightest one coming in at an impressive 68 grams compared to my previous 97 gram Razer the Thatter. And those 29 grams doesn't sound like a lot, but comparing them physically, it really is. But for me, a really light mouse helps with flick shots, especially if you're with a higher sensitivity. 800 DPI club, baby. Aside from that, the looks and aesthetics of the Model D are really cool. Assuming you don't have tryptophobia, the hexagonal design is dope and the RGB stripes are really what suckered me in along with the overall performance and competitive shooters. Yes, this is a wired mouse, but Glorious just announced the wireless version of their Model D, so I'm a thousand percent excited to switch over to that and we'll be covering it just as soon as I can get my hands on it. So mouse and keyboard out of the way, check. Uh, what do we got next? Oh yeah, the mouse pad and the wrist rest. Um, you guys probably don't even use a wrist rest, but I'm gonna tell you why you should use one. So currently, and once again, giving Glorious the credit, I'm rocking the Glorious Switch Cloth mouse pad and specifically the 11 by 36 inch extended size just because I don't have the space for a bigger one. And mind you, yes, they do have bigger ones. Stop it. I'll tell you guys this, I've had nothing but big wins with this mouse pad as it is truly a low friction, smooth cloth surface that gives me the speed and control I honestly need. The life of a cloth pad can be extended, no pun intended, if you take good care of it and periodically wash it. Yes. Wash your dirty ass mouse pads, people. There's tons of video out there. I'm not gonna make one. But yeah, not much else to say about this mouse pad except that it is awesome. Uh, I might actually just buy one or two more or two to swap it out as one gets dirty and another one's drying. So, you know, wash your mouse pads. All right, on to my wrist rest. Uh, that's a keyboard wrist rest, not a mouse wrist rest. There are mouse wrist rests, but for gaming, don't use one. It is the worst thing you can do because you're limiting yourself. Uh, I do have another video too on one that I reviewed if you want to go check it out, if you're going to use it for work or whatnot, but don't use it for gaming. So the wrist rest that I have here is the Wooting wrist rest made by, you guessed it, Wooting. This is the most comfortable wrist rest I've ever tried, and that is because it is entirely made of silicone, giving it that smooth, mushy feel. The design is pretty straightforward, but flipping it over, you see the unique patterns that act as an anti-slip measure. It stays cool during long gaming sessions, is waterproof, durable as heck, and is super easy to clean. 
Guys, I cannot stress the importance of taking care of your wrist now because your older self will thank you forever. And the reality is we aren't young forever. Your wazahan or your fingers will start to give out during long gaming sessions and the more often you play. Carpal tunnel is a thing and having a soft pad that can absorb your wrist weight is 100% recommended. Floating is bad, resting is good. And trust me, I've been gaming with this wrist rest for over a year now and I literally can't even use my keyboard without it anymore. It won't get in the way of gaming. If anything, you might even notice better dexterity when resting your wrist. So do yourself a favor and get a wrist rest. Any wrist rest. Doesn't have to be this one. Just get yourself one and start using it. So that's it. Now you guys know exactly what PC peripherals I use to game competitively. And speaking of gaming, I also stream on Twitch every day. When I'm not making videos on YouTube, Actually, I'm streaming on Twitch. I've been doing it for a long time. I'm pretty competitive. We have a lot of fun oh, in chat. Shit. We do a lot of crazy things. So come check me out over at twitch.tv slash product with an extra T. I put a thing down here that displays it also in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I definitely wanna do something like this more often throughout the months because I know my setup will change just like anyone else's will as I accumulate more items and more things to show you guys. So if you like the video, hit that subscribe button, like, all that good stuff, you guys know what to do. I'll catch you again in the next one.